Hello, this is Pam, Pamela Gropey Art, and welcome to my painting tutorial. Today, we are going to do a Christmas cactus, or something that resembles one. And if you like this video, and would like to see more of my painting tutorials, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and or sign up for my email updates on my website at PamelaGropey.com and I share free um, painting tutorials at least I try once a week um, and I also do painting workshops that are more in-depth uh, to help you learn to paint one easy stroke at a time. So that being said let's get started with our painting lesson. This could be a Thanksgiving or Christmas cactus. I call it Christmas cactus because it has the more rounded lobed leaves rather than the claw leaves. There's a difference between the Thanksgiving and the Christmas cactus. But anyways, just for today, we are going to do the easiest one. Now this, I'm drawing the guidelines for where I'm going to put my leaf bracts. And I kind of based this off of my live Christmas cactus I have and how it um, shoots off in all directions. So I'm just kind of eyeballing it. And like another one right down here. So what I've used is a double load on the number 12 flat brush which I have a link to in the description box below. My favorite brushes that I use almost in every tutorial. Um, this is the number 12 flat, like I said, and I've double loaded it with Plaid Folk Art, Multi-Surface, Fresh Cut Grass, and Thicket. You are welcome to use whatever two greens you have or would like. Now, to do the leaf bracts, we're gonna start at the top and work down because each segment comes off or overlays the one prior. Now, normally I like to do the dark green on the outside, but I'm going to work with that. Not a big deal. Um, I was trying to talk instead of just get in there and paint. Now what I did was I started on the chisel edge, kind of at an angle. You see how it's kind of at an angle? And as I slid up, pressed, slid up, I wiggled the brush to give it a little wave on the edges. And then I come across. They're not pointed at the top. They're kind of flat. And then I come back down the other side with a wave. Now that kind of got goofy looking because of the way I did it. But there you have the next leaf bracket. And then, excuse me, I have a cold, so if I sound nasally or sniffly, that's why. So let me get this and make sure I'm in focus for you. Now the next one, I'm going to start down here a little bit lower. Now on my uh, plant, some of these are fatter, some are narrower, some are shorter, some are longer. So you don't have to be precise. And that's often the case with my painting tutorials. Also, if you're not comfortable coming back down, you can do the first part, go up with your wave, kind of pull over, and then flip your brush and come up the other side. And that's perfectly acceptable too. You don't have to drag a vein in. I was just trying to clean up that center part. Now, when you're reloading your brush, Reload more of the darker green than the lighter green, or whatever color you're going to have on the outside edge, because as you paint, you're pulling more paint off of the outside edge than on the inside edge, because it's making more of the, the movement. And you're going to build up too much on the inside if you don't. Be careful. See how it's got a long ridge? So I'm just, the next stroke, I'm just going to... Um, load the dark green and try to avoid the, the light green just because it's getting so much on my brush. Now this one I got a little bit wider than I would normally have but it doesn't matter because as I go on these ones it's going to overlap that. So here I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do, now I have very light pressure on this one because I didn't want it to be very wide. 
So there, I went up and then down. And the same here, I'm kind of get a little wave to my brush. Not a lot of pressure, I'm not pressing hard, just enough to lay the paint down. And then I'm going to come back down. And you see how I'm kind of twisting the brush to bring it to the center again? And I just keep layering. Now this one I think I'll start over here. Let me move my palette a little bit out of the way. Because I don't want them at the same level. You want them to be staggered. So I'm going to start this one up here so it's on a different level. And you can make them even thinner if you want. Narrower. So I'll make this one super narrow but longer. And if you the side view, I didn't I decided not to do a side view because of them because they're just kind of flat when you do that and they don't have much style. Um, but if I was doing a whole painting with a Christmas cactus in it, then I would do some side view ones. They just aren't very interesting. Okay, now I'm going to go up and you see how it's overlapping that one? That's good. And I just keep layering. Layer, layer. And if you get too much paint in your brush where it feels like it's getting gloppy, just take a rag or a paper towel. And you can pinch your brush out if you like. And just reload. And if it's getting a little dry, just dip your brush in a little bit of water so it moistens it because the paint does start to dry in the brush as you're painting along. That's the nature of acrylics. So let's see. I guess I could do this one looks like it's a little close to the other so I'm going to make it really narrow. That one I got a little fat on one side. But the bracts are not the star of the show. The flowers are really what's going to draw the eye. So don't worry about the bracts being perfect. And I'm going to do this one over here. Make sure I'm still in the camera. And I'm just going to start. I'm trying to work around the camera so it makes it a little bit awkward for me. But even that works just fine. See if I, I didn't reload, see what it does. Okay, I got enough paint in there that I didn't need to reload. In fact, I probably should offload some. Alrighty, we'll do this. I'll just do the one half size side because I'm going to do the final. Whoops, see, I got it, the light on the outside, but I'm not going to worry about it. So there are your leaves. Now I'm going to rinse out my brush put my colors out for my flower, which I'm going to use a fuchsia and a bright pink because I want my flowers to really pop. And I'll have a little bit of white and yellow also on my palette. So I'll be right back after I get it all set up. So we're going to start with the flower over here. Now on my Christmas cactus, the flowers are mostly dangling down with a few buds and it kind of has a white center and I wouldn't know what to call it but it kind of has a little area like that and then you come in and it has these turned up petals along this little bract stem. I don't know if it's a stem, it's part of the flower. So I start on a curve. I'm leading with the light pink and trailing with the dark pink. The magenta, is it magenta or is it fuchsia? Fuchsia. And that way it makes the darker pink more dominant. So here is how it kind of looks. I'm pushing down on the chisel edge. I press 
drag, turn, lift. And it gives it a little curve, a little sexy curve. And same here, chisel edge, press, pull, lift as you curve it. And it has them, you know, all along, like it has different levels without making it too busy. I'm looking at a picture of mine. So it kind of has a shorter one here. It has another one back here. And then it has the front ones. So let's see how I can do this well. And coming out of the tip, and I guess I should put these on first, and I may redo these, but I'm getting my liner brush filled with white paint, and I've made it inky, and I've pulled it to a point. You've seen me do this in several of my videos, and I've pulled it to a point with inky paint so that I can make thin lines. And I'm going to pull some little almost whiskery this is not flowing as well as I would like but it's gonna have to work little whiskery things you don't want them going too far out they're kind of straight and I'm losing I need more water in my brush because it's laying down too thick of a paint and not a thin enough line sometimes if you have a hard time um, with the liners, get a, a narrow one, like a zero one or whatever. They have real, because I tend to get a little heavy handed. But we're going to go with that right there. And let me get that rinsed out. So now I'm going to come back in and I'm going to do the front petals. And it's the same stroke as the upper ones. And then you're going to do some that are kind of like right on top of each other because there's some that are facing you. And this might have been too close. I might do it differently next time. But you get the idea. You get the look of these. These ones are shorter. Right there. And there is your one open bloom on the Christmas cactus. Now at the tips of these little white whiskers is tiny yellow dots. So I'm going to see how tiny I can get them. Just a speck of yellow. Different heights for that. Now depending on your surface, if you wanted to make these more opaque you'd come back and go over them and um, what have you. So let's go, some of them had just a bud. So let's go over to another portion and we'll do a bud. The bud should be fairly simple with the fuchsia and the bright pink. And it's basically just like a, a tube with a point on the end. So it's almost like the daisy stroke. So I'm chisel edge, this is my number 12 flat, and I'm going to pull out and let it spring up to a point. And that works just fine. And then you kind of would like the end a little narrower, so just try to keep that in mind, but I'm not going to sweat it this time. And then towards the end, you have some of your little tendrils. If you wanted to pull them outwards, you could do that too. Instead of going inwards. And that's pretty much it. Actually, the end is much darker than the rest of it. And it's kind of rounded, so it's kind of like put the pressure here and then lift. So it's skinny, round, skinny to a point. And that is your bud. Now on mine, the base was more white. So I'm, I'm getting my number 10 flat just because my 12 is 
dirty. And right here, I'm just going to pull in a narrow piece of white. And so there is your bud. Now, um, a flower that's facing you reminds me really more of an Easter cactus, like if I want to put one up here. So um, let me do that one. Let me get, move my camera. But I'm going to double load my fuchsia and my bright pink. I'm back with my number 12 flat. And I'm going to pull petals to a point. So let's say right here. And then I'm going to do just the chisel edge stroke. And I'm going to start at the chisel edge, press, lift, pull. Oh. So let's go back and reload your brush to do the next petal. And then you lead with the light, follow with the darker the fuchsia, and you keep pulling to that point with the same type of strokes. Some will be curved, like towards it. If you want to make them fatter, you press a little harder and lift as you come to a point. And your petals can be all different widths. And you just work your way around. Now the ones that are at the bottom will be a little bit shorter because they're facing you, so they're trun truncated. And so we just keep working around. And then one last one to fit right in the middle there. And if this one you think you needs to come over a little bit, just go ahead and restroke it. Now you can let that dry, and then we'll come in and we'll darken the centers a little bit so it kind of sucks you into the center. So here I've got my brush cleaned out, and I'm just going to side load just a touch of this is um, berry wine into the corner of my brush. My drip. I have a little bit too much water, so I'm going to dab it out on my towel and redo that. Okay, now I'm just going to kind of pull a little bit of some dark streaks right there in the center. And I did them all facing up, none of them facing down on these upper petals. And then <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and let that dry because I'm going to come in and I'm going to pull some of those whiskers into the center here. And I need it to be dry so it doesn't pull up the pink paint. Now the pink petals I think need to be deepened a little bit. Now I already put the little darker center in but it doesn't matter. You can still go back over it. I'm double loading again with my fuchsia and my bright pink. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to re-stroke. It's mostly dry. That way it doesn't pull up the under layer. And on some surfaces you do need to do that. You need to do a second coat. And it's okay. It, it all works. But deepening your color gives it more vibrancy. There we go. Now, we'll go ahead and let that dry. And then we will... I don't even need to really restroke the dark ones because the, the, um, the fuchsia didn't really cover over it there. And the dark is pretty well, it's getting the burgundy, the berry wine I mean right here. So I am going to get my liner brush and I'm going to get an inky amount of paint or I'm going to take some of the daffodil yellow, add a little bit of water and make it inky. So I've done this before, if you've done any of my tutorials you kind of know what I'm doing. 
but here it is. You see I'm rubbing it in there. I've got water added to it so that I can make tiny point. Now if it's too dark, I'll just add a little bit of white and that'll lighten it up. And I don't blend it perfectly, so if a little bit of white is streaky in there, that's fine. So I just make sure that it's inky enough that it'll flow off my brush well and create light whiskers. And again, I'm going to go up and around. See, I got the, berry, um, the pink on there, so I'm going to rub that off. I don't want to streak it through. And I reload my brush with more yellow. And then I'm going to come up there, wipe it off. Now, if I let it dry, I don't have to worry about wiping it off, but I'm in a hurry here to get this done for you. And then some more. Let's see. I think five is a good amount coming from the center. And then I'm going to get a little bit more on my brush, maybe a little bit darker yellow. And I'm going to put the little dots. So it has little stamens, maybe a little pollen on it. And that's looking pretty good. I might come in with a little berry wine on my liner. And I might just set them down in there. So I just do a little U-stroke around the base of those. And there you have your flower that's facing you. Now, like I said, that looks more like an Easter cactus flower, but we're going for an impression of something and not realism. So if you want to do another type of flower that's also reminiscent of the Easter flower, Easter cactus flower, you'll go in and you'll load, double load your number 12 brush again with the fuchsia and the bright pink. And if you want to lead with your bright pink, not lead, but trail, go ahead. So I'm going to do like a side facing flower. My paint is getting a little dry on my palette. So there you have the first layer. And then you're going to come in and you're going to do those stamens again or those little whiskers with your liner brush. And you're going to do it on, whoops, sorry you guys, let me do that again. Okay, I got going and I didn't move the camera so it was in full view. So I'm just going to go over what I did. Number 12 brush, and I have double loaded it with the fuchsia and the bright pink. And this time I trailed with the bright pink, so it was more dominant. And I just pulled the same type petals that I did for the full flower. But this is just going to be a side-facing flower. So it's going to be slightly different. So there's that part. And then I've got my yellow brush, my liner brush loaded with the yellow. And then I'm just going to pull some stamens up here. I'm trying to keep it light. I'm picking up the pink again because I'm not waiting for it to dry, which normally I would. Now how I would let it dry so that I'm not stopping painting is I would do the under petal, the petals, then I so they could dry, I would go work on another flower or some other part of the painting. Then I, once it was dry, I would come back and do this rather than trying to rush getting this done. But I wanted to show you the complete flower at once. So that's why I'm kind of rushing it. Now, I might not have made them long enough. They might have needed to be longer because you're going to come back in and I'm just going to use the fuchsia. No light pink in this. I'm just going to load my brush with the fuchsia and I'm going to bring in some shorter petals that are sitting in the front. And they don't really show, so I'm going to add some white so you can see them. See, and that the stamens are in behind it. So like I said, they should have been longer. And then you have the back petals and the front petals. 
And if you want to set that back just as a hair, come in with a smaller brush. I would, I'll try the number 10. So I've got my number 10 brush. Make sure we're still in the camera. My battery's getting low, so I better hurry. I'm double loading with the two greens. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little slider leaf like that. But I'm going to do that right here on the base of this flower. And then that kind of gives it a stamen there that's holding it on. And that, my friends, is how you paint your Christmas cactus. I hope you enjoyed this. You're happy painting. <laughs>